Hi, it's Kyle Gray, author of six books with Hay House, including Angel Prayers. I'm so excited to be here today to share with you some insights that I have learned in my 15 year study of the angels. When I first learned about angels, I learned that every single person in this entire world has a guardian angel and that this incredible being will be there through thick and thin. This being will support them through every single step, every single loss, every single hardship, every celebration, every moment of joy, the angel is there. But one of the most amazing things that I've learned about angels is that we can speak to them and we can pray to them and we can ask them for help. And this is so reassuring, that feeling of knowing that I can reach out to my angel for help is something that I have really laid back on and really allowed to support me in my own journey. But something else that's really helped me in my life is the fact that I can also pray for others. Now there's a spiritual law called the law of grace and basically that means for this person's highest good. And that allows us to pray for someone to the angels and allow the angels to come into their life and help them if it's for their highest good. Many people often don't know how to pray for others or hold back from praying for others because they don't want to mess up their free will. However, if you say under the law of grace, what you're actually doing is you're allowing the angels to come in and help that person. If it's for their highest good, even if they're unaware as the angels are intervening in their life. So maybe you know of a loved one on the earth that's going through a hard time right now. Maybe they're going through something with their health or their body. Maybe they're going through a hard breakup or any other challenging situation. Or even it could be something practical like going to sit an exam or a test. You can actually thank the angels for helping that person and for leading that person and for guiding that person and even protecting that person. And all you have to say at the end is say, under the law of grace. And what you're doing is you're allowing the angels to come into that person's life and help them for their highest good. And hopefully you'll be able to witness some miraculous turn of events. So right now, close your eyes. Take a big deep breath in, let it all go. And then think of someone in your life that you know needs some support. And as you think of that person, imagine an angel placing their hand upon that person's shoulder. And then see this, thank you angels for directing this person I am thinking of. My prayer is that every hand that touches them is a healing hand. My prayer is that they will be guided, loved and protected under the law of grace. And so it is. Take a big deep breath in. Let it all go. And that's Angel Prayers 101 for shedding love with someone you love and shedding prayers for someone you love in a way that will guide them forward. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video today, you will absolutely love the Angel World Summit that's taking place on the 30th of June in Bristol. I'll be there speaking alongside some of my friends, including Radley Valentine, Diana Cooper, and our brand new Hay House author, Callista. I hope to see you there for this incredible day that will allow you to celebrate the presence of angels. Thank you.